In our previous classes, we had seen how to build the ORDS API with the help of this PLSQL source. We will generate the data in the JSON object format that is JSON structure we are generating right within the PLSQL block and we are returning the JSON message back with the help of this HTTP payload and in the response if you see we will see the JSON message. Now if you compare this response with the native SQL query kind of ORDS API then we are not seeing this pagination fields like we should be having the has more total count available in this particular call total count of data available in the database which matches this condition that is whatever we provide over here in the query parameter so this information is missing only we are getting the data we won't be able to paginate now we will try to refine this code further and see the advanced version of this code wherein we will have a input header parameters output header parameters and the response will be having the pagination fields for this purpose i have created this v7 template in our module and the source i will show you so here is the source nothing to worry about so first thing is i have created few variables which can hold the data for our input and the output i have created few parameters over here one is json object t which will hold the response that is in the json object message format then we are having a club so this is nothing but in order to hold the response from this sql query i will show you shortly then coming to the limit these are the input query parameters with the help of which i have passing the limit and offset value if you see i have created a couple of uri parameters so this is a uri parameter let me just save this go to the sql query then i'm having a details of total rows so in the pagination you, you might know that we should be showing the total count out of particular response that is l rows will show the total number of records fetched in the particular api called total rows will show the total count of all the records available in the table matching the condition so file name i'm not using over here just i have created you can remove this then the ords exception i have created this custom exception which i'm raising and catching it over here then i'm having a has more has more is important while creating the pagination apis then i'm setting the values of the query parameters what i have passed from the api to this code so this assignment we can do here as well no need of a separate assignment to be done after the begin in the declare only we can assign this next i'm getting the total count of records on this table you can have the where condition as well where you can put the offset and limit or whatever condition matches your business use case you can add it over here once i get the total count my real query will start if the total count of records in the table is greater than or equal to the offset suppose i will send the offset as 20 suppose total count itself is 20 then there won't be any record so this i am checking so offset should be less than the total count i hope you know already all those things if not i will raise an exception that is the ords exception which i have created else what i'm doing is i'm making use of the same sql query which we had learned in our previous class wherein we are generating this json object message but the catch is i'm not giving the employee name directly over here that is if you see over here from employee table instead of that from i'm generating the table information with the help of this again a query so the response from this is a table information with the help of which it will generate the json object so here why i have done like this is by making use of this query that is in the previous method we cannot give the condition that is to order my id and fetch with offset and next from clause so if you want to use this clause that is fetch next and the offset clause in your sql query then you have to go with this method like you have to first of all get the data then you have to convert to the json format then once i get the data what i'm doing is i'm just parsing the if you see over here l json is nothing but it is of the type club over here I need to parse and as I need to the JSON object T kind of data type then I am just putting the data into this object suppose if you see over here the previous response we didn't had other information we had only employees here if you see I have put the employees information or uh, that I have replaced with items over here sorry so in the response when we test we will get items and then the array of all the employees then apart from items I am adding over here few more key items that is the total count limit and the syntax will be something like this we have to provide the json object t variable name then the put put is the operation with the help of which we will be adding the key and the value so these values i'm getting from here that is select count of star into this variable which will hold the total count of records then the limit offset whatever user had sent in the request and the count is l rows what is the total count of record this current api has fetched the records from so this i am generating over here that is i am just passing the json object t generated from this query and then i am checking what is the size of that array that's it 
And then in order to calculate the hash more, I have put the condition like I'm checking the current row plus the offset if it is greater than or equal to total rows then I'm setting has more as false else I'm setting it to true then I'm adding the has more information in the output then I'm putting the status message like success and the message if any then I'm just making use of the HTTP methods over here in order to send the response back if you closely observe the parameters I'm not defining the output access method over here rather I'm directly making use of this OWI util in order to add the header information like what will be my output response type and then the JSON message in actual. Suppose in case of this exception which I am raising within the code, I will tell status as error and no data found. Only in case of no data, I am raising this exception that is over here. Yeah, if no data found, then only I am raising an exception. In case of any other generic query like database not found table not found so and so forth things suppose if someone drops the table then it will enter over here or if any other unforeseen things happens within the execution of this plsql then i will tell the generic error message back that is sql code and the error message now let's test this api with the help of postman i will change this to v7 and click on send i'm getting a generic message over here because we have not passed the query parameters now let me just see what is the naming for this query parameter that is i limit and offset so i limit i will tell 10 and the offset i will tell as 0 because i am fetching the records from 0 currently at the time of recording this class i am having total 20 records in my table now if you see i am getting the response with the key name as items which we have defined over here in our query in our plsql that is my key name is items and then the value is a json array that is an array of json which is of type id name and email so same thing we will see id name and email apart from this we had created few more parameters like total count limit offset so those information if you want to see just scroll down at the end you will see total count limit offset file name count so and so forth things whatever we have defined over here it will be visible so like this we can create the custom pagination fields in the plsql that is by making use of the latest data type methods available in oracle database that is json object json argument array and the json object t by the time you watch this class those data types could be the normal for developing the ords rest api 